about 12 minutes away from uh, the expected docking of Soyuz TMA-10 to the International Space Station as the two craft pass over Western Europe right now. Again, the docking expected to take place so while the two spacecraft are over the Ukraine. The Corps' automated rendezvous system uh, taking the Soyuz to its precise alignment with the Earth-facing port of the Zarya module of the International Space Station. We have a lock on. And we're watching. Alek Kotov, the 41-year-old Russian Air Force Colonel and medical doctor at the controls of the Soyuz. Yoder Yurchikin returning to the International Space Station. About an hour and a half ago, all of the solar rays on the station, the uh, one remaining uh, deployed array on the P6 solar ray truss structure, plus the solar rays on both Zarya and Zvezda, were feathered or placed on an edge-on position relative to the approach path of Soyuz to prevent any inadvertent jet uh, thruster pluming of the arrays, which are very delicate. Those arrays will resume their normal orientation after the docking is achieved. Yes, and we have uh, 33 triple zero seventeen uh, thirteen seventy thirteen, and uh, we're watching the uh, velocity increasing. And you, see, you should see the large diameter filling up two squares on uh, your periscope. Final approach now initiated, so use just over 100 meters away from its target, closing at a rate of seven-tenths of a meter per second. Everything going very well according to Russian flight controllers here in Toryo. The uh, docking interface and uh, a half of piers. We have a little bit of motion. We can't hear you. Uh, approach is uh, stable. Well, we have uh, just a small oscillation to the degree of about half to one uh, degree. Copy. The 78 meters now separating Soyuz from the International Space Station. The rate of closure dropping ever so slightly now, four tenths of a meter per second. Kotov is uh, aligning the docking probe of the Soyuz to the Earth facing docking port of the Zarya module. Zarya launched back in 1998 as the first element uh, that uh, provided the initial control capability for the early segments of the station during the initial phase of assembly. Measurement uh, device data, uh, the uh, range is uh, 67 and uh, 38 centimeters range rate, and uh, we're watching uh, the docking interface and the center. Would you like to turn off the light filter at this time? It's up to you, really, whatever is more convenient. Go ahead and turn it off at the other side. Range 52 meters. Range rate 26. Watching. Admission control in Houston, the visiting vehicle officer, Tremaine Day, is reporting to Annette Hasbrook, the flight director, that we are now just 50 meters away from docking, everything proceeding on track. Good rate of closure by Kotov. You will see the crosshairs match up with the docking target of the uh, Zarya module. You can see that empty docking port just about uh, 
in the lower right-hand corner of the left quadrant of this engineering view from the external television camera of the Soyuz. We have SS Web power up. Correct, we confirm. SS Web ready. The core's antenna has now retracted right on schedule. Good retraction reported by the visiting vehicle officer. It was visually confirmed as well. Could you say again, please? And uh, what is the status of the uh, message? Uh, the antenna is retracted. This is a uh, status nominal and ready. The crosshairs are measuring device data. Uh, we have just some deviation of the target uh, relative to the uh, center line. It's about half of it, and it's all in your copy. No issues, of course. Sunset. So using the International Space Station passing into an orbital sunset over Central Europe. About four minutes to go until contact and capture. Everything continuing to go smoothly for Alec Kota, the first time flyer at the controls of Soyuz TMA 10. Uh, yeah. uh, 20. Not seeing the target. The target is becoming 20 meters separating Soyuz from the Zarya docking port. Total closing at one tenth of a meter per second. A little upward, about a degree. We have a air base eliminated. Copy. Other controllers standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Standing by for contact. Watching shadowing from the. We have contact and capture docking confirmed at 11:10 p.m. Moscow time. 2.10 p.m. Central Time. Docking confirmed a perfect arrival for new residents to the International Space Station and an American businessman. The docking occurring over Central Ukraine again. Docking occurring at 2.10 p.m. Central Time, 11.10 p.m. Moscow Time. No copy. So use TMA-10 has arrived at the International Space Station. Say again. Yeah, go ahead. The International Space Station is in free drift. All of the thrusters disabled to enable the relative motion between the two vehicles to dampen out uh, against one another. Prior to the initiation of the hooks and latches engaging one another to form a hard mate between the two craft. 